today the verse of the Quran from the surah, the surah that we call Al-Fatiha, which is the opening. It shows hope for the Somalia and Somali people and the, for the world community. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar Rahmanir Rahim. Maliki Yawmid Deen. Iyaka Na'bud wa Iyaka Nasta'in. اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين. Many thanks to the organizers of the program. May Allah سبحانه وتعالى reward you for all the great things that you're doing for the community. Equally, I want to thank Amazon for its effort in helping Somalia, its people, and the government. I just came back from Somalia after attending the Somali Muslim Scholars Conference on September 7 to 11, 2013. The aim of the conference was to tackle the issue of religious extremism among young Somalis. <coughs> Renowned Somali religious scholars from all over were in attendance to deliberate an issue, unified religious fatwa or statement on matter. We concluded that Al-Shabaab is now threat to life of Somalis and the world community and has no basis or authority. As a result, we issued a fatwa providing legitimate Islamic tool for Somalis and its government to fight Al-Shabaab. The fatwa was carefully drafted so as the rights of accused Al-Shabaab, like any other suspect, was protected. In any event, the scholars agreed to stand united in the fight against extremism and the implementation of Sharia as approved by Somali parliament in 2009. As obligated in Islam, we must not tolerate injustice, the incessant and indiscriminate killings of innocent Somalis by Al-Shabaab. However, aside from providing a religious decree or fatwa, we must also find other ways to fight Al-Shabaab, as they are engaged in ide uh, ideological war targeting our young people, we must fight them in multiple fronts. It's imperative for us to create opportunities for our young people to feel good about themselves, strength, their self value, and most of all, the ability, rejection of self-destructing and evil ideologies. Attending scholars agree that Al-Shabaab is a threat to life, liberty, and the world community. Attending scholars agree that Al-Shabaab ideology is extremely dangerous and has no basis in the Quran and the Sunnah, which means the tradition of Prophet ﷺ. It's motivated by sheer desire for power and willingness to use any means necessary and force the application of Sharia based on radical views and acceptable by the Jumhur, which means the majority of the scholars. Al-Shabaab action is aimed to, in, to overpower the Somali people, misrepresent 
our religion of Islam, the beautiful religion of peace and justice and freedom, and destroy all our culture, the Somali culture, and nationalism. This is strongly not acceptable and must be confronted. But in multi-discipline approach, we must fight them in the battlefields, in the media, by providing the right interpretation of Islam, the public service arena, by providing all basic necessities for Somalis, especially for young people. Our fatwa was issued in unanimous and made available for anyone's view and highly recommended that you seek to read in Islam. It's permissible for a weak government to seek help from any other government or forces, whether they are Muslims and non-Muslims, as long as they are within the guidelines of Sharia. However, while the government is permitted to seek help from both non-Muslims or non-Muslim states, it must adhere to Islamic guidelines in meeting the necessary conditions. In conclusion, I want to note so my dear brothers and sisters, the guest, Somalis everywhere, our brothers and states who are supporting Somalia, that we are ready to work together for the benefit of Somali people in Somalia, for the benefit of Africa and the world community. As the religion of state, this is what we are recommending, or I recommend the following as religion, as the religion of state and its people, Amisom should show strong respect to the tradition of Islam, thus hold violators accountable. Two, establish an independent commission consisting of members of the government and Amisom to investigate abuses committed by Amisom personnel, then takes an appro appropriate actions. Three, as there is a permanent federal government right now, we visit Amisom mandate to better understanding and strength our relationship. I mean like between the people, the government, and Amisom. Help the government, the federal government, to reconstitute the Somali National Army and police, but with given timelines for handing over the responsibilities to serve and protect, to further gain the trust and loyalty on the public. Amisom should let the Somali National Army lead operations against Al Shabaab. In, consult in consultation with the Somali government, Amisom should come up with an exit plan to prepare and hand over the security to Somali National Army by 2016. All in all, Al-Shabaab does not represent Islam, Muslims, or the Somali, Somali people, but rather they are a threat to peace, progress, and stability in Somalia. They must be confronted with the support of the willing international community, but as I said, in multidiscipline approach and tourists I thank you very much for the time and opportunity that you gave me. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. His Excellency Mohammed Salah Hanatif, Ambassador, Afri Special Representative for African Union, and Chairperson and the Head of Amazon. His Excellency Ali Amir, Representative of the Federal Democratic Republic of Somalia. And ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome you to this important conference. This is an important conference by, hosted by AMISOM. It's a two-day session that will be discussed by three things. It will be discussed by reconciliation, institutional capacity building, and youth and women development. These three things is something that we, as organizing committee, come up with. It's not something that AMISOM told us to do. So our job, our task is really the next two days, especially tomorrow, to sit down 
and do the work session is these three parts and come up solutions for the problem of Somalia in the diaspora perspective. Before I begin what is said tomorrow, I would like to acknowledge and I would like to take this opportunity if, if all the organizing committee, if they can stand up so we can acknowledge them, all the organizing committee. Thank you very much. You can see that the work you have done, it's, really, you, it's a great effort and now we are the days ahead of us. Thank you very much. My friends, let me take again this opportunity and to thank Amazon, the work they have been on Somalia. We are all aware of it that Somalia, the, the problem of Somalia can be fixed by Somalia ourselves. That nobody, can really fix out our problems. But what we need to do is, is to find solutions and reconcile ourselves, among ourselves, and come up with concrete proposals. Tomorrow, we have to really work very hard. In these workshops, we try to put the most elite Somali that we can find in Twin City area. This conference is not only Twin Cities. We have a guest from Canada and other states as well. And our job is really to come up with what Somalia needs to do in the, in, in the perspective of the diaspora. And it's also something that we can hold accountable on their side. Because it's not like we held this conference and the game is over so we can go back to our daily lives, no. Somalia needs our help. And we have to do everything we can in our power so Somalia can stand its own feet. And the work begins tomorrow. So when we get, we need to gather tomorrow at 9 o'clock in the morning, we will be separated by three groups, as I mentioned earlier, and the three focus groups will be reconciliation, institution capacity building, as well as youth and women development. So tomorrow, I hope that you will be joining us here, because Somalia needs all of us, and you know, it, nobody can build for Somalia for us, we have to build ourselves. So our idea is that we have a great opportunity to work with Amazon and the Somali community in the United States of America. We have a lot of people who are here. We have a lot of guests who are here in Canada and the United States. We have a lot of people in the conference who are here in the United States. We have a lot of people who are here in the United States. We have a lot of people who are here in the United States. We have a lot of people who are here in the United States. We have a lot of people who are here in the United States. We have a lot of people who are here in the you institution capacity building, you must have an eye, you have a lobe hanging here, you youth woman development. Well, what I'm not going to tell you, or you go in ten or in my name, we have a lot of how the hunting Somali Haraka of Karna. So the lowest routine most amount in the joke to know what Dudla Matakari or Hadilla Matakari work for how I shall have a brilliant noble lavender time, nine o'clock in the morning, nine o'clock work in the morning, the model, and push it on the Halkas, said the group a young color behind on. سدح لقول مركا أنك الله بحنا سدح هذا قلب وعن سوشي جا يعني كهل دونا كذب أنجو أنت إسكون نقولنه باوح عن قصة صار إنه وح وراق عن وقت تجنو هدي كم فنسي جا أنتو دعوه أو أنت أقوم يهنين أنت مراك إنك كلي ماضي يو يكنا ذي يمتكي ماضي فرصة قالي نقول أنت أنا قنسا وأوجا هاي سوماليا أنا جا يا إسكال عنا نومس منكرتو لكن بريتو للشقاء يا نوتال يو مانتبا إن عم باشتور كده جيسين لك شغلة النوتة الأجوبة واحد تايو حواي إن عشان تحل عشان خلاص كبر هذا إيه واحد دنت النوا عن سمي سنة مركز تيم يجون أقليهن لشقة يجا ومتقع إن عشان يسير وضن كأجوبة حلاه إن عيد مصر ما لقى الله رسلة لكن مركو حين كعسنا وحواي إن تمرو يجون كمتقع إن إن هل كان دنا نانا كلاك سكون ما إنه قدر و و و و و و ولا تكير كري قدر يمتقع إن يقرع على الله ده مركز إن إن ما سكون ما إنه ومتقانا دنت سومالي إن كهذا إنه حل مالين أو سومالي وقرش جرين لي دبعتنا هو قادم ميس. ماتيريال أي حلقة كهايان ومتقانا سمين سوان. أوجا إذا مرة قرنك سومالي لا لسه يلو بهني. Before I leave, I just want to acknowledge and I want to pay tribute all the sacrifices that has been made by Amisom on behalf of Somalia. I would like to tell the, His Excellency the people of Somalia are grateful the great work that Amisom has done. So Somalia can stand its own feet, but also Somalia needs to rebuild its armed forces. So we have to rebuild and reconstitute 
national army. So as soon as we can do that, I think it's the better for all of us. So inshallah ta'ala. So, so inshallah ta'ala brito le alkana sunin manu or matakana wa hana adi ad in kagam had ilinia, that ka ho yana matakana a jiwe or yimid. Really, I know how to do it. 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 متقانا قفكانا قبيل كان قفكانا أثر كان أكيد من لان لان كان أكني مد بل هل ما أنت سومالي مقول بجوت سوني ما إنه تن سومالي كتلين آدم ما زدتي سلام عليكم بركات اللي بدرد أبور الله فرصه سليم فريز سر سومالي qui ont bien voulu répondre à notre invitation d'être avec nous cette soirée. Je voudrais également remercier mes collègues de la mission, particulièrement l'unité des affaires politiques qui a inscrit cette activité au titre de cette année. Je voudrais également dire à mes frères et sœurs somaliens qu'en plus de l'unité politique qui est présente ici, il y a plusieurs euh, frères qui sont de la mission, d'autres sont venus de la commission de l'Union africaine à Addis Abeba et qui sont aujourd'hui avec eux ici. Besides uh, these uh, members of the political unit, we also have uh, other colleagues from the African Union Mission in Somalia and colleagues who came from uh, the African Union Commission in Addis Ababa who are, are currently here with us. Je voudrais, James s'est présenté tout à l'heure. Je voudrais commencer par le conseiller juridique, M. Karim, que tout le monde puisse se présenter pour que puisse euh, nos frères et sœurs les connaître. Uh, James uh, introduce himself. Uh, please allow me to introduce uh, the other members of Amazon who are here. Uh, Mr. Karim Adebayo is uh, the senior legal officer of the African Union Mission in Somalia. Uh, my name is uh, Theo Ododa. I'm the senior civil affairs officer for AMS. My name is Bariga Teresi. I'm the head of the political unit. Yes, you are most welcome. And I am very happy.
Ali is in the studio from Nigeria and the really chief of staff, Alison. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tadidi uh, Seligi. I'm the head of finance of Alison. Thank you. Uh, the context 
uh, in which Amazon intervened in Somalia. Je ne vais pas entrer dans les détails. I will not get into all the details. Tout ce que je peux dire, c'est que la mission est composée de trois composants. So let me just quickly uh, inform you that Amazon is made of three components. Il y a la composante uh, militaire qui est représentée ici par le député force commander. There is first of all the military component, which is represented here by uh, the deputy force commander. Il y a la composante civile où il y a le chef d'état major de, du commissaire de police qui est là qui vient de se présenter. There is also uh, the police component, which is here represented by the police chief of staff who just introduced himself. Tous les autres font partie de la composante civile. All the others are from the civilian component of Amazon. Excepté le colonel qui est le commandant du sac, qui est le commandant du contingent Sierra Leone. Except uh, the colonel who is the head of the Sierra Leone contingent, who is part of the military component. Et trois de nos frères qui sont venus de Addis Abeba. And we also have uh, three uh, brothers who came from the African Union Commission from Addis Ababa. Donc, je disais que la mission est présente uh, en Somalie. So I was uh, saying that Amazon intervened in Somalia. Ça, son mandat peut se résumer en quatre points. We can uh, summarize Amazon's mandate in just four points. Il dit d'abord uh, les autorités somaliennes et les forces nationales somaliennes à libérer la Somalie de Shaba. First of all, uh, the first point is to help the Somali authorities and the Somali National Army to liberate the territory. Faciliter la réconciliation entre les frères et sœurs somaliens. Facilitate reconciliation between the Somali brothers. Aider à la reconstruction d'une armée nationale somalienne, une police nationale somalienne et la reconstruction des institutions du pays. Help to build up the Somali National Army and the Somali Police Force, and also help to rebuild the country. Quatrièmement, faciliter la circulation de nos partenaires qui viennent pour l'aide humanitaire. And fourth, help the humanitarian workers who are going into Somalia to help. Aujourd'hui, on peut dire que grâce à la, à la mission et les forces nationales somaliennes, al Shabaab sont partis sur le plan militaire. Well, today, we can say that Amazon and the Somali National Army uh, did a lot to uh, weaken uh, al Shabaab militarily speaking. Les trois autres objets du mandat continuent à être exécutés. The three other points uh, of the mandate are now being implemented. Mais comme vous le savez tous, uh, al Shabaab a adopté une autre politique, à savoir la guerre asymétrique. As you all know, al Shabaab uh, resorted to a new type of tactics. C'est les assassinats ciblés, par exemple, targeted assassinations, pour faire peur aux gens, to scare people, la politique de poser des explosifs et les faire exploser pour faire beaucoup de, de morts et de blessés également, terroriser les gens, planning, uh, improvised explosive devices and other types of explosives to scare the people and to terrorize the mais également endoctriner des jeunes et les femmes sous forme de bombes qui partent s'exploser tel que ça se pratique depuis un certain temps. But also indoctrinate the youth so that they go and blow themselves up as it is happening in some part of the country. Et donc dans cette phase de reconstruction, de réconciliation au niveau de la Somalie, 
la mission d'estime qu'elle ne peut pas le faire seule et est obligée de le faire avec les frères et sœurs somaliens. So in this very phase of reconstruction and reconciliation, Amazon cannot achieve its mandate alone. It has to be uh, helped by the Somalis. C'est dans ce cadre que nous nous trouvons depuis hier avec vous ici à Minneapolis. It is in that context that we came here in Minneapolis to be with you. Vous êtes une communauté extrêmement importante. You are a very extremely important community. Vous avez une voix qui porte. You have your say in what happens in your country. Vous suivez tout ce qui se passe en Somalie. You are watching the news. You are aware of all that happens in Somalia. Vous devrez faire partie de la solution du problème somalien. You should be part of the solution in solving the situation in Somalia. Et nous sommes venus donc euh, vous écouter. So we are here to listen to you. Voir quelle est votre vision de la solution du problème somalien. Try to understand your vision of the solution to the problems of Somalia. Répondre à toutes les préoccupations et à toutes les interrogations que vous posez sur ce que fait la mission au niveau de la Somalie. And address all the issues, the questions, the concerns that you might have on uh, what Amazon has been doing in Somalia. Tout ça pour seul, avec pour seul but, c'est de mettre fin à la guerre en Somalie. Our only goal is putting an end to the war in Somalia. Cette guerre a trop duré. This war has been there for quite a bit of time. Elle a coûté beaucoup de morts. And it caused a lot of uh, loss. Elle est en train de ternir une image de l'Afrique. It is tarnishing the image of Africa. Elle est en train de ternir l'image du Somalien. It is tarnishing the image of Somalia and the Somalis. On ne peut plus continuer de la supporter. We cannot withstand this war anymore. Dans le contingent qui sont uh, en Somalie, vous savez qu'il y a des Burundais. As you know, in the contingents that are in Somalia, there are Burundians who are also part of the mission. Il y a des Ougandais. There are Ugandans. Il y a des Sierra Leone. There are Sierra Leone. Et beaucoup d'autres. And many others. Tous ces pays ont passé par la guerre. All of these countries experienced war in their history. Mais ils sont arrivés à un moment où on offre des vies plus de guerre. But there was a time in history where these countries realized that they should put an end to the war. Aujourd'hui, il y a 54 pays africains. At the moment, we have 54 countries in Africa. Il n'y a que la Somalie qui continue encore à avoir la guerre. There is only Somalia among all of these countries that is still experiencing war. Nous devons arrêter cette guerre. We should put an end to the war. Les Africains sont vos frères. Africans are your brothers. Ils sont morts pour la guerre en Somalie. They died for the cause of Somalia in Somalia. Vous, vous êtes, beaucoup sont morts, les Somaliens sont morts pour cette guerre. Many Somalis also died in finding solutions for Somalia. Nous sommes prêts encore pour sacrifier d'autres, pour faire d'autres sacrifices. We are willing and ready again to sacrifice our lives for the benefit of Somalia. Mais, Mais toute chose a une fin. But everything has an end. Les gens disent. Au temps de temps qu'on mettra pour être debout, on finira toujours par s'asseoir. There is a saying that no matter what uh, the time you spend standing, you should uh, sit and then. Uh, Il est temps qu'on s'asseoir et qu'on résolve le problème somalien. So now is the time to sit and then uh, solve Somalia's problems. Donc vos frères et sœurs qui se sont présentés tout à l'heure ici sont là pour vous écouter. Your brothers and sisters from African countries who introduced themselves here are there to listen to you. Pour que votre contribution nous aide à renforcer ce que 
Nu s-au mântrat de fără. Because your inputs uh, will help us uh, deal with the challenges that we're facing. Première chose, vous devrez sensibiliser tous les jeunes que Al Shabaab est en train d'embrigader pour les mettre au service d'une cause qui n'est pas juste. First of all, you should sensitize uh, all Somalis that Al Shabaab is indoctrinating the youth to blow themselves up. Je viens écouter la phrase que M. Limam vient de nous dire. I listened carefully to what the Imam had to say about the fit, the fatwa that they issued. Il est temps de continuer dans ce sens. So now is the time to go in that direction. Il est temps d'expliquer aux jeunes que contrairement à ce qu'Al Shabaab leur dit, le fait qu'ils partent mourir, ce n'est pas vers le paradis qu'ils iront, mais c'est vers l'enfer qu'ils iront. Now is the time to tell the youth that, uh, on the contrary of what Al Shabaab is telling them. Uh, by blowing themselves up, they are going most likely uh, into the hellfire instead of going to heaven. Aujourd'hui, avec l'internet, avec les télévisions, les moyens de communication sont en temps réel. Today, uh, with the new developments, the internet, uh, the different technologies of communication, everything uh, can be uh, shared. Le seul message que vous devrez envoyer aux frères somaliens, c'est de leur dire d'arrêter la guerre. The only message that I would like you uh, to send to the Somalis is that they should put an end to the war. Et d'encourager les responsables politiques à se réconcilier. And encourage the political leaders to reconcile. Vous devrez tout faire parce que vous, comme vous savez ce qui se passe en Somalie. You should do uh, all what you can because you are aware of what is happening in Somalia. Et nous sommes là pour vous écouter. Et une fois de plus, je vous remercie pour uh, votre présence. And we as Amazon are there to listen to you. We're all ears. Et je souhaite tout simplement que d'ici un an, deux ans, I wish that in the uh, next uh, one, two years, ou au plus tard en 2016 pour les élections en Somalie, Or by 2016. que vous partiez tous en Somalie pour assister au vote I dans wish tous that, les territoires somaliens. I wish that you go back to Somalia and vote in your country. Dans une Somalie libre, in a Somalia that is free, où il fait bon vivre, where there is life. Et vous connaissez tous la Somalie, c'est un bon pays qui mérite la paix, mais pas la guerre, je vous remercie. You all know Somalia is a beautiful country and it deserves peace.
distinguished guest. Peace be upon you. Almighty is mercy and blessing. In the 69th meeting of the African Union, especially the peace and security, have declared that the African Union will send troops to Somalia on January 27, 2007. When African Union troops came to Somalia, the only road that the government of Somalia were using by that time was one road, and that is Makkal Mukarram. All of us we know from the presidency through the uh, Makkal Mukarram road and to the airport. Sheikh Sharif, the president of the transitional government, when he went to go abroad, he was taken by the ar by armored or anti-bullet vehicle to the airport. And when he comes back, the same thing. When the Amazon arrived, Al-Shabaab was few meters from the presidency and Almost every night, they were pumping or throwing mortars in the presidency. Arriving in that situation, the Amazon troops started, first of all, to secure the lives of the officials of the transgender government. And then they got a mandate that they can extend their mission to, to a combat. Starting that combat ended that he, they liberated, first of all, the 16 or 17, and I believe now it's 17, districts of Mogadishu, and then extended their operations and movements to the neighboring regions, especially the lower, uh, the lower Shabella and the upper Shabella. Now they are almost around 300 kilometers, 200 to the north and 250 to the south. Uh, Kismayo also was rep rep uh, uh, liberated. Somalia is a member in many organizations, including Arab League, Islamic League, many. But the only organization that have stand and sent troops to Somalia is the African Union. Today, uh, myself and you also should be proud that we are Africans. Somalia is committed to build a strong um, Somali National Army, professional army that can fight beside the army song to fulfill their duties. Somali government is trying its best with the help of the army song to rebuild Somali army. And we are in the path. Uh, I have participated recently in Kampala, a workshop for the Somali National Army organized by AMISO. Uh, the topic was to awareness, or it, is, it was actually awareness on how the Somali National Army should conduct con conduct with their uh, nation or people 
uh, in the humanitarian law, uh, that means that, that law actually is, in, is, a, is a Geneva Convention. It was in 1949. Uh, the Somali government is a part of that, and they have signed. That means our Somali army should obey that uh, convention. Uh, it says that how to, uh, how to treat uh, the prisoners of force, how to treat the civilians, uh, not to loot. It was actually a very successful uh, workshop. The officers came to me at the end of that, uh, that uh, workshop, congratulate me, and says, please uh, extend such workshops to us because this was a very, very interesting topic which we, uh, now when we go, we'll feel. That came, that workshop came because there was a lot of uh, mis uh, propaganda against the Somali, against the Somali troops that they are looting. Uh, sometimes uh, they have been uh, said that they have uh, made sexual uh, abuse to the Somali women. Uh, in, 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 in that question that Somali uh, National Army is trying their best to build the capability of their force, the, of their officers. We also have requested the AMISOM to extend such training in the field of the operations. We need Somali, the, the Army uh, usually starts from the junior officers and then commissioned officers who take the role of the direct compact uh, with, with, with the army. There are a lot of uh, propaganda usually against the Amazon troops, contra propaganda from Al Shabaab, and people who actually don't want that the Amazon troops succeed in their mission. Uh, we are aware of that, and we hope also you should understand that Amazon troops, in fact, we don't say that they are all angles. Maybe mistakes sometimes happen, but the Amazon troops, Amazon regulation restricts that their army uh, harass or abuse uh, the Somali people. Their duty is only to fight the enemy and help the Somali government to stand in, 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 in its feet. In its feet. Uh, Amisom is not only committed, committed to op make operations against Al Shabaab, they do a lot of work. They have a compact, they have a backup. Most of, most of the Somalis think that uh, Amisom came with, with guns and tanks only, but Amisom also do humanitarian and civil uh, work. You will, inshallah, see by their presentation tomorrow, billah kareem. Uh, a Sudani uh, journalist a friend of mine, I met him in the Emirates. We were discussing the situation in, of Somalia, in Somalia. He told me that the Somalis are, and he, uh, what, he said it in Arabic, Somal, najuhin fi kul makan, illa fi Somal. Milk is the way wa wa and what did the Adu Bissal, they are successful, they are energetic, but in Somalia, they are detained something else. Uh, 
خلينا وادي سوريا ان شاء الله السلام عليكم ورحمه الله